guys so welcome back to my youtube space and today's video i'm going to share with you my post vacation hair care routine and skincare routine so as you can see i was on a vacation and i'm super exhausted and my skin is super dehydrated and all the glow is gone trust me i am super exhausted and i am suffering from jet lag yes i am suffering from jet lag um and i'm going to show you how to cool your body from jet lag and all the bullshit that you did on the vacation so further no delay let's get into the video so to start off with the stuff you need are pretty much simple navratna oil if you have watched my previous video you should be knowing about this oil if not it's linked below just do watch it and a um, seasoning pan to just warm up the oil and a shower cap to cover your head after oiling so you can see i have warmed up the oil I have not heated up or fumed it up because uh, warm, warming up of oil will uh, allow the oil to easily penetrate into your hair follicles and will uh, nourish the hair follicles and stimulate in hair growth. Uh, and one more important step is washing your hair. Please wash your hair uh, before oiling because if you are not going to wash your hair uh, and if you have half dirt in your hair uh, follicles. what will happen is the oil will not penetrate in it will clog the hair follicles which will lead into um hair loss the start of with unband your hair and comb it through because there should not be any tangles and now you can use the warmed up oil um just take some oil in your hand just rub it across and start from the back always start from the back gently don't do vigorously just gently and then come to the front So there are six steps in oiling. One is choosing your hair oil. The other is warming, warming it up. Um, the third is massaging. So massaging it is divided into two. You have to massage for um, at least ten minutes for the hair follicles to get soothed up and uh, for the blood flow to come into the hair follicles and like that. And the next is uh, always massage in. a position that just tilt your head like this in a upside position and then massage okay so you may be wondering what this girl is doing so this is the step so don't forget this position should be done at least 4 minutes at least 4 minutes so that the blood circulates um circulation is more and it uh, it stimulates the hair growth very important okay uh i always used to do this from small whenever i would oil my hair my grandmother used to ask me to um tip my head a bit and then massage i will i used to wonder what is she trying to do but then uh, when i after me growing up uh, then i realized it has a lot of scientific benefits and yes it do improves your hair uh, growth and your uh, follicles to stimulate hair growth to do it and do try it okay i am pretty much sure everybody does this method so if not just try it so now some more oil and finally show yours so i have oiled my hair and uh, now it's the final step i'm going to cover it with a shower cap and it is always important um, to leave the oil at least for an hour um, so you have to remember massaging for massaging your hair for 10 to 15 minutes leaving the oil in your head for about at least about an hour 
and then washing it off with a mild shampoo and a conditioner. So yeah, I'm, I've just covered it up and now I'm going to sleep <laughs> with this. Okay, before that, I'll show you all uh, the skincare routine. So in my today's skincare, there are four steps involved. The first one is uh, cleansing. The second one is uh, scrubbing. The third one is exfoliation. I'm going to use a charcoal peel of mask, which uh, decleans your pores and exfoliates the dead skin. And the final step is a face mask. So the ingredients are pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to use a honey, tomato juice and a lemon juice cleanser. So the ingredients are pretty simple, lemon juice, tomato juice and honey and I've taken a jar uh, just to do temporary emulsification with the three ingredients. So add in all the three ingredients. So you can see I've added all the three ingredients and I'm doing a temporary emulsification, just blending it. So I'm going to pour in the mixture and uh, I'm going to uh, use a lemon to, for, the, for the application of the mixture to the face. Using the lemon peel, I'm going to use this mixture into my face. I'm going to cleanse it. I am super tanned. So leave this cleanser for about 5 minutes and then rinse it off. So I have washed my face and now it's scrubbed. I've washed off the cleanser and now it's scrubbing. For scrubbing I'm using the coffee, sugar and honey scrub. Uh, I already posted a video, do check it out. So I'm going to scrub. As you can see, I have a breakout here. Thank God, not on the So leave this uh, scrub for about 5 minutes and then wash it off. So the next step is using a peel of mask. I'm using the WOW brand activated charcoal peel of mask. And you can see the fumes coming. I'm going to steam my face and then use it because to open up the pores and to exfoliate all the dead skin. Okay. So yeah, I'm using a steamer. Um, I have this steamer for pretty much 10 years now I think, it does a great job of. So yeah, I want to steam my face. If you don't have a steamer, you can use a towel, you can dip the towel in hot water and then uh, put it on your face uh, for 2-3 times and then go for a peel of mask. So yeah, I'm going to do it. So once you're done with steaming, just pat dry and then go for a peel of mask. I'm going to apply the peel of mask now. I'll show you how it's area. A, a small layer will do. So I have uh, applied the charcoal peel of mask. So 
wait it to dry and then peel it off. So I'm going to peel it completely dry. So I'm going to see the left dry on the left. Now goes the final step, uh, the face pack. Uh, I'm going to use the amla powder face pack today. Amla powder. Uh, this is the potato juice and the lemon juice. If you feel uh, lemon juice is a little irritant to the skin, you can skip lemon juice. Okay. So I'm going to mix everything together and apply. This is the consistency. It should not be too runny or too thick. Uh, just the consistency that you can apply. I'm going to really good for the skin uh, and potato juice is deep reducing uh, aging, it removes your tan, it gives all the glow that your skin needs and lemon juice, it also does the same. Just apply a layer, be gentle around your eyes. And leave the mask around till it dries. So as you all can see, the mask is pretty much getting dried. Mm. Since I've applied a thick layer, it'll take time, but it's already been 20 minutes now, so I think I can wash it off. So I've washed my face and just pat drying it. Uh, now the final step is using a toner. So I'm going to use the ice cube. It's a rose water ice cube, so it will act as a toner. It's just to close your pores and keep the all, keep all the moisture intact. So, yeah, that's it. Mm. If you're feeling your skin is dull, dehydrated, please do all the steps and you'll get a pretty glowing skin. So, meet you with another interesting video. Until then, bye.